let me help you to pick out the best hair products for your hair. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike Amhu. I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing for more hair and beauty content from a professional hairdresser like me. In today's film, we're going to be picking out the right hair care for your hair. We're going to go through some points, what you should consider when picking the hair products for your hair, what you need, how to determine whether you need this shampoo, that shampoo, whether you need hair oil, whether you need a mask, etc, etc. So if you want to find out what you need to do to pick out the right hair care for your hair, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? Welcome to yet another hairdressing 101 film. And in today's film, like I said, we're gonna be talking about picking out the hair care for your hair. Because from the feedback that I'm getting from my comment section, loads of people get confused whether they need shampoo, whether they need a mask, whether they need a heat protector, oil, etc, etc. So we're gonna break down everything and I'm gonna help you pick out the right products for your hair so it's gonna be easier for you to shop for your hair. Right, when it comes to picking out the right hair care, we need to consider a few points. We need to set a budget. It's like with anything. If you go food shopping, you set a budget. When it comes to your skincare, you set a budget. You always be like, why, this is the amount of money I can spend on my hair, or this is the amount of money I can spend on a moisturizer. So budget is very important. You need to decide whether you're gonna invest in professional hair care, or you're gonna go with the drugstore brands. Now, when it comes to professional hair care, if you're ever in a hair salon, you can notice a hair salon usually stocks few different brands. So you always have a really high-end expensive brand. So that would be like your Keristas, then you'd have your mid-range and then you have your more affordable. So let's say your mid-range would be anything from like Paul Mitchell to Moroccan oil and then like affordable, you'd have your Siri Expert or Eleven Australia. So there's different price ranges for everyone. Now, a lot of people do think that professional hair care products are really expensive, but you need to think, like when you buy your skincare, are you gonna put Nivea on your skin or are you gonna use Dermalogica? It's same kind of idea. You need to think what you want to use. Now, I actually done a bit of research on drugstore brands and if I'm looking at my laptop here, like Mau Moisture in, if I pronounce that correctly, in Boots costs $9.99. And then we have Nexus in Boots, which costs $11.99. And then some Pantene products do cost $6.99. So when we're thinking of drugstore, everything goes anywhere from five to let's say 12 euro max. Now, if we're thinking about Siri Expert, for example, which is a professional hair care range, a Nutrifier from Siri Expert is 11.45. And now you're literally spending few quid more, but you're really investing in your hair. So you need to set that budget. But then if you want to spend a lot more and use Kerastas, go for it. You know, everyone is different and like that, the benefits of a professional hair care range is that you get a better product, it works better, the technology in them is better and they're more concentrated, so you're actually using less product. When it comes to drugstores, there's some amazing products, I think, because I don't really know drugstore brands. Like loads of people always ask me, what should I get in boots? I actually don't know because I'm not trained and I don't use them on a the daily. When it comes to professional hair care, I use it all the time so I can answer you that question. So budget is very important. You need to tell yourself, right, this is how much I can spend on my hair and my hair range. You need to commit to using the right hair care range. Right, and what do I mean by this? Shampoos, conditioners, hair masks are not your ASOS next delivery. I mean, it takes a while for a shampoo to actually work. It's same as your skincare. Like if you think you're gonna put on a moisturizer or a serum after one go, boom, it's gonna be amazing. No, it's same with the hair care. It's like medicine for your hair. You need to treat it and treat it. So commitment is very important. You need to be able to commit to the products. Like some ranges like Nioxin that is very good for hair fall and hair loss has a three step range and you have to use three products together to get the full result. So committing to it and being like, right, I can do this is very important because there's no point of you once of buying like Kerastase shampoo and then using like, I don't know, Garnier conditioner and then going back to like something else. Like you really need to commit to the product. A 
establishing your hair needs is very important. So you really need to think about your hair concerns and you probably often heard me talking about hair concerns about different hair ranges and when it comes to picking the right hair care you always have to prioritize your first hair concern. For example, if your hair is dry and oily and has split ends, you really have to sit down and think and be like, right, what is my priority? Is it the oiliness? Is it the dry hair or is it the ends? So choosing the right thing is very important. Why? Because for example, if you're gonna use a shampoo that is for color treated hair, and then you're gonna use conditioner that is hydrating, and then you're gonna go in and you're gonna use a heat protector that is for blonde, your hair just doesn't know what to do with it. It's like throwing loads of different remedies at a person and your hair is just not responding right to it. So you really need to think about your hair concern first. So for example, if your hair is really dry and frizzy, you need to think, be like, right, is it the frizziness that is my hair concern or is it the dryness? So then you decide, right, I am really worried about the dryness. So then you pick out correct hair care range for dry hair. You treat that first until the dryness goes away and then you can treat frizziness. Now some hydrating hair care ranges do help the frizz, but really you need to think about what is your main hair concern. If you don't know whether your hair is dry or is it sensitized or it's oily or it's broken, it doesn't cost anything to walk into a hair salon and ask a professional. You can go in and just say, listen, this is my hair, what would you recommend? And that will kind of give you an idea to what is wrong with your hair. Now, we need to know what products we need to use. So when it comes to choosing the right products, you're like, right, you'll need shampoo and a conditioner. That's a given. So like that, we determine your hair concerns. So that way you'll be able to determine what shampoo and conditioner you will need. Now, if your hair is thicker, and when I mean by hair is thicker, it means the hair is coarser and is a lot thicker. I actually had a person ask me, how can you define fine versus thick hair? Fine hair is when there is very little hair. So my hair would be considered as fine. But if your hair is a lot thicker, there's a lot more hair density and there's a lot more hair on your scalp, so that would be thicker hair. And if your hair is thicker, you'd always go for a mask. Mask is not really something you'd use once a week. Mask is something that is created for thicker hair. So it's a conditioner for thicker hair. Then we need to determine whether we need a heat protector or oil. Right, if you're straightening your hair a lot, if you're blow drying your hair a lot, a heat protector is a must. Now, if you let your hair dry naturally, I don't see a reason why you should use a heat protector, but if it's something you do constantly, if a hair straightener is your best friend, if you blow dry your hair daily, a heat protector is a must. Now, when it comes to the oil, you really need to think as a right. So oil tames the hair, nourishes, takes the frizz out. So if that's something you need, oil is an additional product. But when it comes to the correct hair care, you need a shampoo, conditioner or a mask, and then a leave-in in styling product. Now, if you have curly hair, you'd probably need like a curl hydrating cream. If you're lacking in volume, you need something that is volumizing. So I'd always recommend having a styling product as if you've watched me before, you know that I put a lot of product into my hair after I shampoo it and that's just for styling. Now I do use a heat protector and I use styling products. So I put a lot into my hair. I think this is very important because the amount of people that choose the wrong products for their hair. The amount of times I came across clients, they're like, oh, I need a clarifying shampoo. And I'm like, why? Because my hair is oily. No, you need something that's oil balancing. If you're blonde, you'll probably go for something that is for blonde hair. So you'd go for a nice hydrating or anti-breakage shampoo. And then you're gonna use a conditioner for blonde hair or a mask and a purple shampoo probably once a week. So you really need to know how to choose the right range. So you need to determine whether your hair is dry, your hair is sensitized, or if you want to preserve the color in your hair. So if you're like copper or red, or you have crazy color that fades really quickly, you'd need something like color saving shampoo. If your hair is really frizzy or it's hard to manage, you'd need something that's gonna tame the frizz. So you really need to sit down and think, be like, right, what are my hair concerns? So everything goes back around in circle. So when it comes to choosing the right hair care range, we need to think of the budget and how much we're willing to spend on the hair because there's no point of you spending once off on an amazing shampoo and a conditioner and then not committing to it and you're back to square one. You need to determine your hair needs and choosing the right hair products. So obviously you're gonna need a shampoo and a conditioner and a mask and then you need to think like, right, 
do I air dry my hair and is my hair frizzy so if your hair is frizzy you're gonna put something anti-frizz if you air dry it and your hair is curly you're gonna put something for curl or if your hair is lank like mine you'd probably add something for texture but if you blow dry your hair and your hair is dry you'd need a heat protector that will nourish the hair and protect it from heat at the same time. So you guys, I hope this really helps and will help you to narrow down what you need for your hair and how to choose the correct hair care range for your hair. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media. And of course you guys, please, please, please take care. Bye.